Hi, I'm going to show you real quick how to use the molar football to help you set up stoichiometric uh, conversions and calculations. Uh, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a molar football, which uh, the template is included in the package you can download. Uh, you need to print that out double-sided to where when you flip it uh, horizontally like this, uh, the text is facing up both times. So basically what we're going to use this for is just kind of a way for students to uh, line up a dimensional analysis or a factor label calculation when they're given either grams or moles of a substance and they need to make some conversions. So we're going to look at a few different uh, situations here. The first one is going to be if we are trying to convert grams of a substance into moles of that same substance. Uh, what I've got on this side of the strip is I've got A and B, okay? Uh, so long as you're working with the same substance, you're going to want to take this and fold it in such a way to where you're given uh, the grams of your substance and you're trying to find moles of the same substance. So the way you do that is by folding this over on the dotted line on the back and then doing it again. And so you can see right here, I've got this set up in such a way to where if I am given a certain number of grams of substance A, um, then I know to set up in my next step, I'm going to put one mole of A on top, and then I'm going to put the molar mass of A on the bottom, which simply means I'm going to be dividing by the mole mass to change it to moles. Now that's simple. Um, I can also use it to go the other way. I can convert moles into grams. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to start folding from the left hand side to where what I'm given is moles of substance B. Now for this one, if you notice on the back, it's kind of at a diagonal. There's a couple reasons for that. But I'm going to fold it on the diagonal, fold it over, then I'm going to take this entire thing and I'm going to fold it over on the other dotted line back here. Where I'm given moles of substance B, I'm trying to find grams of that same substance, and so I start with the number of moles I'm given. I'm going to put the mole mass on top and then over one mole of B so we can cancel units. So in this case it's just going to be moles times the mole mass to turn it to grams. All right, let's take it up a notch. What if I want to uh, if I'm given a balanced equation, or if I have an equation I can balance, and I want to find how many moles of one substance will react with moles of another substance, or yield moles of that other substance. And so I'm going to be starting where I'm given moles of substance A. I'm going to fold this to where I find moles of substance B. So in this case, all I have to do to solve this is set my number of moles that I'm given over A. And then my mole ratio here, I'm going to put uh, from my balanced equation, I'm going to use this coefficient. So I'm going to put moles of B over moles of A. So I'm going to multiply by the number of moles of B from my equation, divide by the number of moles of A. That'll change it to moles of B. Um, if I am going from grams of substance A and I'm trying to find the moles of substance B, it will either react with or yield. Then I just unfold this side where I'm starting off with grams of A, finding moles of B. And so here, in this first step, I'm going to put one mole of A on top, the mole mass of A, which will change to moles. And then I multiply by my mole ratio to get moles of B. Uh, in a similar fashion, if I'm given moles of A, and I'm trying to find grams of substance B, then I simply fold it like this. I start with moles of A over 1, multiply by mole ratio, and I'm going to multiply by the mole mass of B over 1 mole of B to find grams. And of course, if I'm going of mass of one substance and finding the mass of the other substance, then I simply use the entire unfolded football and uh, set up my conversions to look like that. Uh, the reason why it's called a mole football, if you haven't already guessed it, is that I patterned it uh, kind of after 
the paper football that was popular at the time when I came up with this idea. I had a lot of my students folding paper footballs in class and uh, using those to play with in their spare time. Well, you can keep folding along the triangle side, make another partial triangle here, and tuck it in to where you now have a uh, fully folded molar football, uh, which is very easy to keep track of. Uh, it's also kind of fun to see if you can kick a few field goals while you're killing time.